What's up, everybody? Back with another Bible study today. We're going to be getting into First Chronicles chapter 29, the last chapter in First Chronicles. Lord willing, uh, we'll continue on and get into Second Chronicles tomorrow or whenever I do the next study. First Chronicles 29. Then King, da King David said to the entire assembly, My son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is still young and inexperienced, and the work is great, for the temple is not for man, but for Yahuwah God. Now with all my ability I have provi provided for the house of my God, the gold for all the things of gold, and the silver for all things of silver, and the bronze for all things of bronze, the iron for the things of iron, and the wood for the th things of wood, onyx stones, and inlaid stones, stones of antimony, and stones of various colors, and all kinds of precious stone and alabaster in abundance. And so, so David wanted to build a house for God. He wanted to build the temple because he, he knew about the tabernacle before, but he wanted to build a physical house for God. But God didn't allow him. It was his plan for Solomon to do it. And so David prepared every step of the way. He, he prepared all the materials he prepared the, the plans for the temple. And Solomon was the one that built it. Moreover, in my delight, in the house of my God, the treasure I have of gold and silver, I give to the house of my God. Over and above all that I have already provided for the holy temple. Namely, 3,000 talents of gold, which would have been, uh, I would have to look it up, you know, well, 1,000 talents of gold would have been 1,700, and I don't feel like calculating the 3,000 in my head right now, close to 5,000 pounds of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and this is out of David's own Personal, personal money, not out of the what Israel had. And 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the buildings. Of gold for the things of gold and the silver for the, for the things of silver. That is for all the work done by the craftsmen. Who then is willing to consecrate himself this day to Yahuwah? That's, oh, that's, that's one of the most powerful Verses in the Bible. David said. Who who then is willing to consecrate, consecrate himself this day to the Lord? Who is willing to consecrate himself this day to the Lord? And if God leads me. I'm going I'm to speak something about the consecration. But I want to continue on with the study. Both my phones are close to dying. Then the rulers of the father's households, and the princes of the tribes of Israel, and the commanders of thousands and of hundreds, with the overseers, are, overseers over the king's work, offered willingly. And for the service of the house of God, they gave 5,000 talents and 10,000 derricks. I'm not sure what a derrick is. Of gold. And 10,000 talents of silver. And 18,000 talents of brass. And a hundred thousand talents of iron. And so David already already had prepared a hundred thousand talents of gold. From Israel, which is 750,000 pounds of gold. For this project, then donated from his own money. What did it say? 3,000 talents of gold. Whoever possessed precious stones gave them gave them to the treasury of the house of Yahuwah in care of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced because they had offered so willingly. God loves a, joy, a joyful giver. Because they had rejoiced so willingly. For they made their offering to Yahuwah with a whole heart. And King David also rejoiced greatly. So David blessed Yahuwah in the sight of all the assembly and said, Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, God of Israel. 
our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Yahuwah, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. And that's just like a, just like the Lord's Prayer. That's very similar to, to the Lord's Prayer. David said, Yours, O Yahuwah, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything that, it, that is in the heavens and in earth Yours is the, is the dominion, O Lord, O Yahuwah. And you exalt yourself as head over all. That's very similar to the Lord's Prayer. Hallelujah. David had a heart after God's own heart. And Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer. Both riches and honor come from you. You rule over all. And in your hand is power and might. And it lies in your hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Now therefore, O God... Our God, we thank you and we praise your glorious name. Hallelujah. But who am I? And who are my people that we should be able to offer as generously as this? For all things come from you. And from your hand you have given, we have given to you. For we are as sojourners before you. And your and tenants... As all our father, as all our fathers were, our days on earth are like a shadow, and there is no hope. And Solomon also had a scripture, uh, something he said like this: our, "Our days are like a shadow. Our days on earth are like a shadow, and there is no hope." Oh, Yahuwah, our God, all this abundance that we have provided to build a house for Your holy name, it is from Your hand. And all is yours. Hallelujah. Since I know, O oh my God, that you try the heart and delight in uprightness, I, and the integrity of my heart, have willingly offered all these things. So now with joy, I have seen your people who are present here. Make their offerings willingly to you, O oh, willingly to you. O oh, Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, our fathers, preserve this forever in the intentions of the heart of your people and direct their heart towards you and give to my son Solomon a perfect heart to keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes and to do them all and to build the temple for which I have made provision. Then David said to all the assembly, Now bless Yahuwah your God. And all the assembly... Assembly blessed Yahuwah, the God of their fathers, and bowed, bowed low and did homage to Yahuwah and to the king. On the next day, they made sacrifices to Yahuwah and offered burnt offerings to Yahuwah, a thousand bulls, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel. So they ate and drank that day before Yahuwah with great gladness. Hallelujah. And they made Solomon the son of David king for a second time. And they appointed him as ruler for Yahuwah and Zadok as priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of Yahuwah as king instead of David his father. And he prospered. And all Israel obeyed him. All the officials and the mighty men and also the sons of King David pledged allegiance to King Solomon. Yahuwah highly exalted Solomon in the sight of all Israel. And bestowed on him the royal majesty, which had not been on any king before him in Israel. Not even David. Now David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel. The period which he reigned over Israel was forty years. He reigned in Hebron seven years. And in Jerusalem thirty-three years. The same... It's believed Jesus was thirty-three years on this earth. Then he died in, in a ripe old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And his son Solomon reigned in his place. Now the acts of King David, from first to last, are written in the chronicles of Samuel the seer. And that's interesting as well, because there's maybe another writing out there, or used to be another writing out there, called the chronicles of Samuel. And the chronicles of Samuel the seer, or prophet, and the Chronicles of Nathan the prophet. That's another one. And in the Chronicles of Gad this year. 
or prophets. So there, you know, there's probably, you know, people who stick to the 66 books as the Bible, as on, only these 66 books in the Bible, but the Bible mentions, it mentions the book of Jasher. It mentions the, uh, the book of the wars of the Lord. It mentions the chronicles of Samuel, the prophet, the chronicles of Nathan, the prophet, and then chronicles of Gad, the prophet. And so there are other writings out here out there that are, you know, referenced by the Bible as likely scripture. And I, I believe God put together the 66 books the way he did on purpose. But not that some others aren't scripture. And once we finish up with these studies we're doing right now, I'm going to get into the apocryphal books, uh, which used to be in the Bible, you uh the Ethiopian church considers them as scripture, as well as they do with uh, the book of Enoch, or the, the book of Joshua, the book of Jubilees. But uh, in the 1611 King James Version of the Bible, there were 14 extra books known as the Apocrypha, which were removed. This was a couple hundred years ago. They were removed. And so I plan on getting in, into those studies. And... Uh, Lord willing, that will happen, but let's finish up First Chronicles here. With all his reign, his power, and the circumstances which, circumstances which, came, which came upon him, on Israel, and on, the, and, all, and on all the kingdoms of the lands. One more time from verse 28. Then he died in a ripe old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And his son Solomon reigned in his place. Now the acts of King David from the first of the last from the first to the last are written in the chronicles of Samuel the seer and the chronicles of Nathan the prophet and in the chronicles of Gad the seer with all his reign his power and the circumstances which came upon him on Israel and on all the kingdoms of the lands and so the end of first chronicles ends with the end of the reign of David and in second chronicles I believe I haven't looked at it yet, but, you know, based on the context, and I, I believe we're picking up with Solomon, his reign, and then getting into the reign of uh, some of the other kings of Israel. You know, uh, Chronicles, especially First Chronicles, I believe is slept on. It's, uh, people overlook this book. There's so much in here. So much power in, in here. And I thank God for allowing me to... Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for allowing me to to speak it. To be able to do these studies. I praise Him. Praise you, Lord. I praise God and I thank Him. And like I've said, I have some music coming out. Christian rap. God continues to work. And I praise Him for it. So, let's be humble. Let's be blameless. Let's keep God's commandments. Every single one of them. You see my shirt? Got Torah. Torah is the first five books of the Bible. Torah is uh, the law of God. Torah is a Hebrew word that means instructions. Do you have any instructions of God? Are you following the instructions of God? Let's keep his commandments. Let's be humble and blameless. Let's do his will in all things. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, turn to him. Repent and believe the gospel. He loves you. He wants to give you eternal life. And if you're willing to accept that free gift of God. And truly turn to him and ask him to forgive you. He will forgive you. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. And he will give you eternal life. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus today. It's the end of First Chronicles. Thank y'all for tuning in. Love y'all. Shalom.